Never spend the night in a wild temple, because as the old saying goes, you can live in a grave. But not in a wild temple, because you don't know whether the gods or ghosts live in the wild temple, and you will most likely encounter some dirty things. This story happened a long time ago. My grandfather told it to me. It must have happened when my grandfather was young. When grandpa was young, life was difficult and food was a problem. One day, the old Wang at the east end of the village made a match for grandpa and introduced him to a girl. In order to please the girl's father, grandpa sent a bag of grain he had accumulated at home. Grandpa's father-in-law lives in a very close place, but that day there was an accident, had often taken the road, today there is a problem, just through the town Grandpa found the wrong way, the front is a fork in the road, when Grandpa was at a loss. A person carrying a hoe, humming a little song in his mouth came over, Grandpa hurried to ask the way, but this question, Grandpa found the problem, it turned out to be the wrong direction, because Grandpa went the wrong way and wasted half a day. At that time, there was no serious road in the countryside, and the crops were all over the field, basically the same, and the road was wrong. It is also very normal, there is no way, Grandpa can only carry food and continue to move on. But all the way down, the sky is dark, I do not know what time it is, Grandpa came out in the morning. This way even did not drink saliva, but also carrying a bag of food, tired and hungry, almost fainted. But at this time, Grandpa looked up, there seems to be a family in the distance and lights shaking, Grandpa was happy, even if it can ask for water to drink ah, and closer and closer. Grandpa seems to see a few people in the house shaking, which is more to show that people have not slept, Grandpa speed up the pace of the past, but after entering the house, Grandpa found that this is not what people, but a small town god temple. In addition to the town god's clay statue, there is a table and a white candle, the other nothing, let alone people. It is that the light from the white candle is not ordinary yellow, pale and pale, it looks very strange. At that time, Grandpa was still young and inexperienced, and did not know the meaning of the sentence that he would rather live in a desolate grave than sleep in a wild temple. The grandfather, whose legs were weak, found a corner and sat down. He wanted to rest for one night before going. He was so tired that he fell asleep soon after sitting down. After midnight, I do not know where a gust of wind blew out the candles on the table, and the light was dark, accompanied by the sound of Shizu, which woke up Grandpa. Grandpa opened his eyes vaguely and found a group of people standing there as if they were holding a meeting, and there were people outside the small temple who kept coming in. And those people did not speak and stood there with their heads down. Grandpa also thought that the temple owner came. After all, he is an outsider. He said hello. Cannot expect Grandpa this opening. Those people looked at themselves at once. I saw those people look strange, pale. Empty eyes which can frighten Grandpa. Grandpa curled up in the corner, shouting, don't come, but he did not move. The ghosts moved up. They formed a circle and constantly came to Grandpa. With the ghosts closer and closer, Grandpa felt the temperature around him fell cold and shivered. Just then, a long-haired ghost seemed to like Grandpa. After all, Grandpa is young and very handsome. The female ghost looked over the head and wanted to kiss Grandpa, saw the female ghost's neck gradually stretched out a meter long when the female ghost approached. Bad breath, but also issued a whine sound. Grandpa was thinking that his first kiss is estimated to be lost. After a scream, he felt a black eyes, then fainted. Grandpa also do not know how long sleep. Grandpa woke up to find the ghosts, but the scene in front of him once again scared him. Yesterday looked at a very new small temple, now become broken walls, everywhere is full of cobwebs. When Grandpa saw this situation, he dared not stay for a long time and rushed out of the small temple on his back. When it was noon at the girl's father's house, Grandpa told them about yesterday's encounter, and only from the girl's father learned some things about the broken temple. Originally before this city god temple incense or very good, later due to the war, many refugees often live in some people starved to death in the city god temple. Some people died of disease in the city god temple. For a long time, the city god temple spread a haunted legend. Gradually no one to incense, the temple is slowly abandoned. As for the old man often, it is not unreasonable to say that one would rather live in a grave than a wild temple. Because in ancient times, people would sleep in some broken houses with no one to live in when they were tired, and those homeless lonely souls and wild ghosts were the same.